Hello again, this is FairBinaryOptions.com. We are continuing with the concept of a running correction. And on the first part, with Elliott Waves, of course, in the first part, we uh, lay down the rules of a correction, either be it a simple correction or a complex correction, and what will make it a running one. And based on our discussions, uh, we said that the running correction is one that ends above the end, uh, above the, the beginning of it or below the beginning of it if we are talking about a bearish trend in the first instance a bullish trend so after such a running correction when you see the market fails to break the lows and makes a series of two um, two high highs basically we only want to trade call options when to trade call options well if we said that it's a triangle and a running triangle or a triangle always is dependent on the B2D trend line this will be the B2D trend line of a lower degree this to be this would be the ANC. Here on the Binary Options uh, Academy on FairBinaryOptions.com we had a lot of um, uh, projects and educational uh, series involving triangles and the rules of a triangle, how the B2D trend line needs to be broken, what to expect and so on. So make sure you check them on our website in order to fully understand. How should be labeled this one? Well this one should be labeled like this should be labeled as this being wave A we said as a wave A this being a B wave all the way to here this being a wave C A, B, C and then for the whole triangle we have an X wave whenever you see an X wave it means that you are having not a simple correction like it is this one like we said there is a possibility for a simple correction but a complex correction and that complex correction is for an A, B, C, X way and then something to follow so if you are to trade or to buy a call option by the time the B2D trend line is broken it means that the last part of the complex correction already started so it will definitely be a wave A and not a 1, 2, 3, 4 something in this case the triangle should be of a lower degree so either you make it with different letters or with different colors or you just make it a bit smaller so this would be wave A this would be the B wave this would be wave C this would be wave D and this one here would be the E wave so in this case the B2D trend line where it is being broken it is being broken by a wave of, um, of um, the B2D trend line of a lower degree and that is the moment where we should go and trade call options in this case if the running correction was coming in a bearish trend then put options were, were indicated it is important to note that it is not only a triangle that is possible to form a running correction but also complex corrections with two or more X waves but the implications of a running correction are the same an extension should follow, an extended wave should follow, a powerful move should follow an impulsive wave in this case should follow and not a corrective one for wave A as uh, it is the case with this, we'll end this Elliott Way's uh, implications of a running correction. The most important thing to remember is that it ends above the beginning of the move in a bullish trend. It ends below the beginning of a move in a, in a bearish trend. So make sure you understand that. Thank you and have a great day.